All right, guys, well, I'm back at the range today taking a look at this Beretta chambered in 380. Now, if you follow my channel, you'll know I just picked up a Beretta 92 FS, and that was one of my dream guns. I mean, I followed that gun everywhere in my childhood. I even had that little plastic Beretta. And after shooting that, I liked it a lot. And I actually got it transferred by American Pawn and Gun. And while I was there, I saw the Beretta 84, which is chambered in 380. And it was used, but they had a very good price on it. So after some deliberation and after shooting that Beretta, 92 FS I did some trading bartering and did a little selling and acquired this guy so I'm super excited to take it out to the range today and not only did American Pawn and Gun have this for a good deal but they donated the ammo to help make this video these guys are always supporting the channel by donating the ammo and allows us to try out more pistols and run a lot more rounds through them to really prove them out so if you're ever in Monroe, North Carolina, swing by American Pawn and Gun and tell them 704 Tactical sent you over. They'll give you a really good deal on one of their wide variety of used or new guns. Ergonomically, I'm really liking the feel of the pistol and all of the controls are really nice. The only thing I don't like about this pistol is the fact that it has a magazine disconnect. So you have to insert a mag for the gun to function, but it's got a smooth take up and a very crisp break. The other thing about this pistol is the fact that you can't put the safety on with a hammer back. When you put the safety on, it decocks the weapon. Then you can use it in double action mode or carry it in double action mode with the safety on. But overall, I'm really excited. But enough talking, let's run some rounds through this thing. They donated some Monarch Steel ammo, some Fiachi hollow points, as well as their American Pawn and Gun, just standard brass cased ammo. So we'll run a wide variety of ammo through this thing to see if it's reliable. So this is a double stack, so it holds 13 rounds, which is pretty cool. About the only downfall I've seen so far is it's really difficult to kind of grab the top of this without the safety interfering with your hand, but really not that big of a deal. So I'm going to put it on safe, decock the weapon, try that first shot in double action mode. All right, well, I'm noticing it's a very smooth shooter, but this beaver tail is kind of digging into my thumb so I'm going to try to adjust my grip see if that helps didn't lock back it is empty so I'm going to take a look at that I'm still getting some irritation in my hand right here maybe as I'm gripping it it's very snappy not as smooth as the Beretta M9 but overall I'm liking this pistol let me load up some more rounds so I ran some more rounds through it with that brass case source ammunition that American Pawn and Gun used to sell and um still didn't lock back but then I loaded up some of the steel Monarch and I'll show you what it does Locks back, works great. So I actually hand loaded one at a time in this guy and it locked back every time with the steel ammo. Now, source ammunition is out of business. So American Pawn and Gun probably gave me the last box or two they had and they switched to other ammo sources. So I won't be able to repeat this after this box is done because they're out of business, but I'm gonna load up a few more of those source rounds and see what it does. Yep. So it does not lock back with that for some reason. Who knows? I'll try those hollow points right now and see how that performs. Now I've adjusted my grip slightly a little bit lower to keep my thumb off the back of this beaver tail. And it seems to be a little bit more comfortable. Although it is definitely a snappy pistol with such a small slide. I've got it loaded up with these Fiachi hollow points. Let's see how it likes those. So right there, have to kind of smack it in the battery. So it does lock back and it feels really smooth. I'm beginning to like this pistol a little bit more as I shoot it. I feel like I just had to adjust my grip. It overall feels really ergonomic, but a lot of times I like to grab my pistols as high as I can. Slightly uncomfortable with this 380.
So in summary guys, I'm super happy with this pistol now that I've run a few mags through it and kind of got all the kinks worked out and figured it out a little bit more. Every time you try a new platform, it takes some getting used to. Now I really like the Beretta M9 or the 92FS. It feels like a much smoother pistol and less snappy. So a lot of times people buy 380 because they feel like the felt recoil is going to be less than the 9mm. About the only advantage that this configuration offers over the Beretta M9 is the fact that it's more compact and small. It actually fits in the waistband really well so it might make a good carry gun. I'll have to run more rounds through it to prove it out but it seems to run the hollow points really well. Ergonomically it feels really good but make sure you get I don't know a little bit lower grip than I normally do with such like the Brett M9. I can grab it really high it doesn't really dig into my thumb but overall I'm really liking this pistol. Now like I said, it ran everything pretty good. Now, for some reason, that brass case, it didn't seem to lock back. But other than that, super happy with this pistol. So go swing by American Pawn and Gun and check those guys out. If you liked the video, please check out my other ones and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.